Hello. Today I'm going to share my new tank. I'm a certified seahorse breeder for the United States and worldwide. There's some features about my tank I haven't done or shared with other people yet. I have three different lighting systems. I have an LED system, I have a halide system, which, and I have an actinic the two different bulbs there system. I also run a refugium sump mixed as you can see. Skimmers clean, totally clean because this is purely clean. A couple light systems, add iron for my plants. I put all the pumps behind a gridding so that way they can't get sucked up. Over here is the main system called the Aqua Pure. This is the newest system designed. It's a drip system that's guaranteed to take all the nitrates down to zero. So you don't even have to do any water changes anymore. Once every while you do. And the culprit that you feed it with is alcohol. You pour just a tad bit of that every two weeks in there, just a little milliliter. Just make sure you don't use any good alcohol. Because if you use good alcohol, you know, everybody in the family might drink it. So just use some cheap stuff. As long as it's 80, 80 proof, it will work. Down here I have a couple pumps. That circulates the water, keeps everything going. All my test kits. All my, all my setups down here so I can turn individual switches on and off. Is all neatly folded. Right now my tank is a little cloudy because I added some chemicals. But here's some of my seahorses that you can see. There's one right there showing off for my camera. Hello guy. And they can be hand fed too. There's one of my big guys looking for some stuff. I just fed those guys but they eat. They never stop eating it seems like. Pretty soon I'll get rid of those little houses and my homemade little colored stands right there using hangers. I have ordered some custom corals that will go in here. Big stag corals of red and yellow. This is the first video, so you can see other videos. See he wants me to hand he wants to he wants food. He's gonna come right up to my hand. Because I can hand feed him. I'm still working on the other ones. They're still a little shy. I've got filtration back here too. A bio wheel. It's not necessarily needed, but you know, extra filtration helps. And people say about LED lights, you can get cheap LEDs actually that work good just to light up your aquarium right off of eBay. If you just type in LEDs, you can get like a whole row of them for like $20. And you can light up your tank. Here, let me show you when I turn off the halides how bright it is with just the LEDs. Now, this is just with LEDs. If the system happens to run out of power, everything is backed up on batteries. It's hard to see them because now I turned off the main light. So I'll have to go in here and put that switch on. There we go. Fire up in here. So down here, I keep it to 72 to 73 degrees. If it gets up to 74, 75, the chiller will kick in and will cool the tank because seahorses don't like to have fluctuations. Over there, now you can see it. There's my battery setup and systems. Dual car batteries, actually, hooked up through the wall. And then I have another system behind the wall. If the power goes out, this can all maintain itself for up to eight to nine hours to keep the system totally going. My clock decides to interrupt me. So, as you can see, got a couple of pumps, heaters, and then I have down here, since I blew away the sand with that, they like some heavy current. They love to play in it. I have, from underneath, an LED, so it lights up half the tank at night. I have some shrimp. And I have even a little goby, this, I mean, uh, yeah, dragon goby. They'll sit there and eat the sand. 
all these little bumps he's done. There's this one little guy. Yes, hello there, buddy. Yes, yes. I'll feed you in a little bit. You keep dancing for the camera. And he's my big guy, too. He's pretty big. And there comes... When they have babies, as you can look them up, it's quite amazing. About 1,600 to 1,800 babies at a time. Right now I have none. Not yet. This guy's starting to get that way. They're starting to... Yeah, there's a one. They love to hang on and play with each other. But this will be video one, and you come back in a couple days, and we'll see how things go with video number two when I get my new corals in. And then we can get rid of the little houses. The only reason I got the SpongeBob houses is because they're green and yellow. And as you see, some of the seahorses actually take to it. There's one upside down right there. And he's turned totally orange and yellow to match his home because they love hitching posts. And there he is. He, there's my goby. Come on, grab some sand for us. There he goes. Then he eats the sand and it comes right out crystal clean. So I've got a backup. With my heater right now, I haven't got a chance to uh, put the grids on. I have protectors to keep it from so they can't burn themselves, but they seem to be a good job of staying away from the heat. It only comes on for temporary because I have two heaters down here in the sump. I have one there that comes on for an emergency if the water in that side gets too cold, and I have one right there and then they're backed up also to the chiller so the chiller controls those so here's a little rundown of my system if you have any ideas or any questions and you're wanting to breed seahorses feel free to ask and this tank it just took me a couple, about a week to set up to get all the parts and once the next video the water should be actually crystal clear to where you can't even see a haze but again thank you to the aqua pier from John the the creator and owner of the company. If you check out aquapure.com, it's the next generation in aquarium filtration. A little bit of alcohol into the system every two weeks and then to one week, a drip system, and less than a month you'll have zero nitrates in your tank. In fact, I don't even have to have all this in the tank anymore. All I have to have is that. But since it's already here and doing beautiful, I just keep it anyway. That's the system right there, aqua pitter. You put the pump inside the tank to where it can be sucking into it, and then when you go through, you just set it up so it's just at a drip. Like that. I'm still working on my drip, trying to get the exact amount of drips per second. Now, once you get that set up, you just have to work with that once every couple of days just to make sure you get the right drips, and that's all there's to it. You can save major water changes. I mean, you know, this one here probably does about every week. Instead of having to do a 40-gallon water change, I save about 40 gallons of water. That's salt and water. The system pays for itself. Again, thank you, and you have a good day.